lots of people don't know how to use the RNS effectively. Now this means that they're missing out on great trades because they don't know what to look for and they don't know how to react. And in this video, we're going to be covering how to use the RNS effectively and how you can use it to improve your trading. So let's get started. Welcome everybody, Michael Taylor here with the Shifting Shares channel here on YouTube. Please do click the red button and subscribe below and you won't miss out on any future episodes. For those that don't know me, I'm a full-time trader of my own private capital in the UK stock market and in this channel we're going to be covering everything trading UK stocks and some opportunities to make some money as well. So what is the RNS? Well, the RNS is the regulatory news service and this is a service that delivers price sensitive information to the market and to investors and traders on the London Stock Exchange. Now it runs from 6 o'clock in the morning, um, most of them arrive at 7am in the morning and it runs all the way through to 6.30 in the evening. But of course the market shuts at 4.30 so the only opening hours that the RNS runs through are 8 o'clock after the opening auction all the way through to the closing auction. Now, here's a little trick. If you do see a profit warning after 16.30, but before 16.35, the market may have missed it and the indicative uncrossing price may not be reflective of the profit warning. So if you are alert and you are quick, then you can get a short away in the uncrossing trade and the market might still be actually asleep. The RNS is where you find everything about a company, so for example uh, reports, contract wins, director shareholdings, director changes, uh, holdings, changes in the shareholder register, so that will come through as a holdings RNS or a TR1 and you can use this basically to find the story of a stock, see what's been going on and you can also see how a company has been performing. So if you look at the company's results, it'll usually give you, uh, so it will give you the balance sheet, income statement, statement of cash flows, and usually a current outlook on the trading as well. So how do you use the RNS? Well, I use the RNS to find trades in the morning. So from seven o'clock, I'll be sat at my desk and I'll be going through all the RNS announcements of the day, obviously prioritizing earnings reports. So look out for things like half year results, full year results, uh, contract wins, trading updates, trading statements, anything that has new information about the stock that can potentially move the price. Because as a trader, you need volatility to survive. If a stock doesn't move, then you can't really make any money on it. Um, so yeah, I try to look for these updates, look for ahead of expectations, profit warnings, basically anything that can move the stock. Should also mention as well that within the RNS there is RNS reach. Now this is not supposed to be price sensitive material published by the company so it'll be things like marketing or contract wins that are already expected in the numbers so shouldn't in theory move the price but I have seen companies where they've announced an RNS reach and it's spiked the price or it's moved the price. Uh, so you shouldn't discount RNS reach as being useless because at the end of the day, if people think that the news is price sensitive, well, all of a sudden it is price sensitive. So what should you look for in the RNS? Well, as a trader, as I've said, I'm looking at earnings reports and things that can move the stock, uh, contract wins, anything that can have an effect on the stock price is what I'll be looking for. Um, but if you're an investor, you'll mainly be focused on the financials. You'll be looking at forecast earnings, how the stock has performed in terms of those forecasted earnings. And generally, I think if you spend an hour a day, at least an hour or two a day, going through the RNS announcements, you do end up building quite a wide knowledge of UK stocks. So for example, there's one stock that I've followed the RNS announcements for for about four years now. I've never actually bought it, um, but I do believe that if there is an inflection point in the company, um, I'll be one of the first people to know because I already know the story of the stock. 
and when a good piece of news comes I'll be able to contextualize that news and put it into perspective and there are people who have really deep detailed knowledge of several hundred small cap stocks I mean it does seem quite daunting at time um, at, at, at now thinking you have to memorize about 500 stocks but if you just learn about one company a day you learn about what it does um, what industry it's in, how it's performing financially, you'd be quite surprised at how quick that knowledge can build up. Uh, and I guess it's just like football. I mean, I personally couldn't name uh, many players of the England football team, but there are people that know every single player of a League 3 football team. Um, you know, if you enjoy doing what you do, then it doesn't really feel like work and you'll, you'll pick it up and remember it quite quickly. So final point, one of the things that I use to get around the RNS system effectively is SharePad. And one of the reasons this is so good is because I can highlight colors in the RNS announcements. So for example, when 50 to 100 RNS announcements drop and we've got an hour until the market opens or 50 minutes until the opening auction begins, I can then prioritize what I want to look through because it's all highlighted. So it tells me where to go straight away. And within that RNS itself, I can highlight specific words. So if I want to find profit warnings, I'll use phrases like below expectations or um, increase in debt, thing, things like that that are negative that can move the stock down. And likewise, if I want to find things that can move a stock up, I look at ahead of expectations, increased profit, phrases like this, generally positive phrases. And this can give me an idea of how the stock is going to move on the market. So this, to me, is an invaluable tool. And there is, there is a link below if you want to get a risk-free trial. Um, give it a try, see how you think. But for me, it, it's invaluable. Now, you can, of course, use other options. There is the London Stock Exchange, the official website. And that will have all of the RNS announcements in, in there. Another good advantage of SharePad is that you can actually filter RNS announcements so you can get rid of all the announcements that you don't really need to see. Uh, so for example, funds that post about 20 RNSs about the, the top holdings. I don't deal in funds, so I don't really care about that. So I just filter them out so I don't get to see them. Um, it is quite helpful because you can organize everything. Um, but yeah, there are free options available. London Stock Exchange, Fox Markets, uh, lse.co.uk, ADVFN. There's lots of free options, so give, give them all a try and see what works best for you. Please let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or you have any questions about the RNS. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Michael Taylor, and I'll see you in the next one.